Now let us go back to the links attribute window and let us look further which ports where the sales workstations are connected at. And it shows that P13, P14, P15, P2, and P3 are the ports where our sales workstations are connected at. So let us change the VLAN parameters to identifier 20 since it's a sales workstation. And let us look for P2. So click default, then click edit. Set the identifier to 20, then set the identifier to 20 again for the supported VLANs, then click OK, then click OK again. Then we need it on P3. So set the port VLAN identifier to 20, then the supported VLANs to identifier 20 again. Click OK. And next we need P13, so this is the P13, click Edit, then set it to 20. Then change the supported VLANs to identifier 20. Then click OK. Then click OK again. OK, then P14. Click Edit. Change it to 20. And the identifier to 20. Then click OK. Click OK again. Alright, so the next one is P15. So change it to 20. All right, then click OK. So we've now completed on configuring the port for the sales switch station in our first floor switch. So let us switch back to our links attribute window and look if there are still first floor switch ports that are on the list that we need to configure. It shows that our first floor switch Ethernet port 4 is connected to the second floor switch in port 13. So if the link is connected to another switch, that means it's a trunk link. And the trunk link will allow the traffic from the billing and the sales department to pass to the second floor switch since the billing and sales server are connected in the second floor switch. So we have to set the trunk port for P4 to VLAN ID 20 and 10. So let's go ahead and set that into our first floor switch port configuration. So let us look for P4, then click edit. So instead of an access, we need it to set it to trunk and we're just leave the default for the VLAN identifier to 1 and for the supported VLANs change default by clicking edit then set the rows to 2 since we have to support 2 VLAN identifiers which are VLAN 10, VLAN 20 then click OK. As I mentioned earlier, trunk port is set in a switch port to carry traffic from multiple VLANs so the trunk port is used to connect other switches or a router and the link that extends to VLAN across different switches is called the trunk link. So go ahead and click OK to save and close the window. Alright, seems like we have completed on configuring the ports in our first floor switch. So go ahead and click OK to save all the changes that we did. Then click OK again to save the changes for our first floor switch attributes.